A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day, be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord Take up his cross In predicting his passion, Jesus did not exactly say that he would be killed by crucifixion, but referred to his would-be follower as carrying a cross. Was this invitation an afterthought on the part of Christians after Jesus had died on the cross? The mention of taking the cross daily alludes to the cross as a symbol of suffering taken in solidarity with the suffering Lord. In a world where the cross was the most degrading form of punishment, the good news about the crucified Messiah was nothing but absurdity. For the Jews, a crucified Messiah was a contradiction in terms. The Messiah was one who was favored with the divine blessings, whereas in the light of Deuteronomy, the divine curse rests on him who is crucified. As St. Paul would say, the message of the cross is a scandal to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. Still in God's plan, the cross became the very instrument of humanity's salvation. Christ crucified is the power of God and the wisdom of God, and the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Pope Francis says, There is no true love without the cross that is without a personal price to pay. And when born with Jesus, the cross is not scary because He is always at our side to support us.